So first of all, I wanted to let you see my face and hopefully I can go back into my videos and find a before and after. But um, I think that this is all the results I'm gonna get for my V-beam that I did for the redness. And if I had to tell you, um, I, I, this will sum it up. I did not even go back for my like checkup visit that they had to evaluate whether I needed another session because I just didn't think the first one did that much. I thought that it was like not very much for $500. And so I think that you get way more bang for your buck with just an IPL. And I know IPL is not supposed to be targeted for blood vessel type things, but I feel like I got just as good of results. Plus I got some of the darkness taken away. So, um, but I, I do think it helps like some right there and some right there, but I still see it. And my neck, unfortunately, I cannot really show you, you know, neck and chest results that much better because I, last night I used a tanner. And so you can see it's, I kind of stopped right there. So you can see it kind of caught right there, but I'm gonna probably take some of the, you know, makeup down my neck. So today I thought what we would do is just a get ready with me. I don't have anything planned, but just a few products that I wanted to show you. This is the Color Science Even Up um, SPF 50 uh, Clinical Pigment Perfector that Elizabeth sent me. And I saw she has a lot more videos on her Instagram now. She does the Insta, the TV. So I will again put her, you know, link down there so you can go check her out. But you just need a little bit, not even a whole pump, but just, you know, like three fourths of a pump. And it's got like a moussey texture. And I am using it for basically my, not my foundation, but my primer and SPF and everything. It feels very, very velvety. And yesterday, okay, I already messed up because I don't want to get too much up under my eyes. It's just one of those things you feel, it feels so good and it feels like skincare that you just automatically kind of go all over. And I'm going to get a little bit more, like a half a pump and go down my neck and show you how pretty it makes. If you just got it for your neck, it would be worth it because I always like to put sunscreen on my neck and that just makes it look so pretty. So I really tickled that. Yesterday I used it with my Classic Beige and it looked so pretty. Actually, it was Laura Mercier Rich Vanilla, but I'm not sure how much Colt Beauty is gonna have left of any of the colors. So today I thought we would try another Elizabeth recommendation and it is the Tarte Light Medium Neutral. It says for light to medium skin tones with yellow and pink undertones in the Amazonian clay. And so we'll see how this does over it. The only thing I think I wanna do is yesterday I noticed I still wanted to put some concealer on and I did it afterwards and I was thinking maybe I want to try that before I do the foundation. So let me go get a concealer that I want to try. So this is one, this is the Hourglass in Sepia. And I don't know if I've used it in a video before. So we're just going to go right here, right here. All the places that I want a little bit lighter. I haven't done this before. This is gonna be a true, a true get ready with me. I'm using the BK sponge. Okay. I'm gonna kinda of just press it in. Okay, so you end up with something like that. Now I'm gonna go in with the Tarte powder 
and I'm gonna use my typical brush that I use, if I can find it out here, my Sephora little airbrush brush, and get some in my brush, knock it off. That's the only thing, you know I don't like caps like that. Kinda work it in the brush the best that I can, and since I'm just now using this for the first time, I'm gonna start in the safe zone, which is the contour. That way, if it puts too much color or you don't like it, it's not like right in the middle of your face, but. And then work down. And then once I get that coverage and the color that I want from this, then I'll take what's left on this and blend it over that concealer to kind of blend it all in together. And then take the rest down my neck. So that gives you pretty good coverage. Okay, I'm gonna go in my thing again, work it in. Use what's left kind of in my thing here, across my forehead. Like that, and this lasted so well with this color science stuff up under it. And if you're wondering about my crazy roots, I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. I was supposed to get it done yesterday and Morgan got sick, so we had to reschedule. Okay, can you see how pretty that is? And it will just last all day long because there's just something about putting on those light layers that kind of seals it in. Okay, so the next thing I thought we would try is this contour that I showed you the other day so you can see it in action. And I have come to the conclusion with me, the best way for me to place it in a direct spot and not get it just crazy is the brush that I use. And I just showed you that brush that I got from Sephora. I thought I brought it out here. Okay, and it's this one. I really like this and I also love my NARS ETA brush, I believe it's called, but I cannot find it because I have been just trying to, this is another good one, the Makeup Forever from Sephora. I finally called an interior decorator left a message, um, I got her name from someone that I really love the work they did, and I'm gonna try to get an interior decorator to help me with my room upstairs because I need organization, but I want it to look really pretty, and I just don't have the time, and I need at least some direction to tell me, okay, do this, this, and this, and I'll come back. Do this, this, and this, and I'll come back. So, hopefully, that will be happening, but I've got a bunch of brushes upstairs. So, okay, I'm gonna, I just pressed it in here, and I'm gonna go right under that cheekbone, like that. And then, kind of work it out. And then it just creates that shadow so nicely. And see how even though it looks so gray, it doesn't end up being that gray on your Face. And this brush really helps around my hairline because sometimes I just go nuts all around my hairline. And I always figure, well, it doesn't matter because my hair is going to be down. And then, before you know it, I've ruined my, my vibe. So, like that. And then it's really good right here. And this is only like $12. I actually bought a few for like, not gifts, but you know how I like to take stuff to people when I see them, and I thought this would be something fun that not everybody would buy or think to look at. And so, then you can tighten up your jawline like that. Now, if you still want to go in with some bronzer, what is one of my good light bronzers? But I really don't feel like I need to. Like that Tarte Mineral Powder already gave me enough. So with this, that just gave me the you know, the contouring that I want. And then I'm going to show you how pretty this Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur blush is. When I saw these come out at Ulta, they were up front and I looked at them and I thought, mm, I'm usually not a fan of that whole 
bounce stuff, you know, because I feel like it doesn't come off on your brush well enough. But the secret is to use a, usually a natural hair fiber brush is the best. Um, I'm gonna try one of the BK Beauty brushes and we'll just see. I'm gonna try, this one is the 106. So I'm gonna bounce it in here and then kinda, yep, bounce it right on my cheeks. But see how fresh and pretty that is? Just makes your whole cheek look so pretty. And it doesn't really have to be blended out a lot or anything. It's so pretty, I love it. That was highlight, I'm not gonna do any today because I feel like I want this to be I may fix plus at the end, I don't know. But I just know that when I use my mineral makeup, I usually don't need a highlight because my skin will be glowy enough. Now, if you want to set the under eyes and get a little bit more of a pop underneath the eyes, you could do what I've been doing, which I've been mixing the Laura Mercier Translucent, which is the Holy Grail, best translucent powder there is. I love the Chanel, I love a lot of other ones, but this one, gives just there's just something special about it. it actually gives more coverage underneath your eyes and i have made a little mixture with my the morphe that i showed you the other day and that is in here so i'm going to make sure that my under eyes are not creasing which they are just a little bit but not bad and i am going to take my Louise Young brush that I love to use for concealer that's in my favorites kit. I'm gonna get a lot on my brush. You can see the pink a little bit more. And I'm going to put that under. And then I'll take what's left and kinda of go right where that concealer was. Okay, now I'm gonna take a big BK Beauty brush and brush it off and blend it in like that. Okay, now I feel like I do need to fix plus because it got a little bit powdery and I don't want it to be that way, so I'll be right back. I thought I would just hit it with this Olay Mist because that's kind of like a half between doing nothing and doing the fix plus, so. It just comes out so fine. So that gave me a little bit of my glow back. And I do have my little fan out here. Dry it off. Now let's do, yeah baby, I'm doing a, um, <laughs> with that. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to clean out. There's not a lot in my eyebrows since we didn't do a lot of heavy makeup. Okay, and I'm going to use this little Haku Hodo brush, which is a, it's kind of like a short, stiffer brush. And dab a little bit into the lighter side of the ash brown. And start here and bring them out some. And then work up to my arch. And then just do a little bit and I like to just come in the middle of down here. That way my brow is more defined, but the other day, like in my Friday video, I don't like how wide, you know what I mean? My brows, I don't have a lot of brow hair, but I don't, you know, so they're kind of sparse, but they're a little bit wide. I don't know, you know how we are. So I just brushed out my brows and put a little bit of the clear brow gel. Now I'm gonna use this Huda Beauty, the Matte and Metal in Faux Fur. Just the name alone is enough to love it, but I want to see you to see how pretty it is. If you're someone who just wants to even out your eyelids and you're not, um, you know, trying to get color, you would love this. And I've been taking this little Smashbox brush, kind of buffing it all over like that. Isn't it pretty? Because see, it's not too stark and it's not sometimes the just a regular eyeshadow base can be kind of chalky feeling but that one's really pretty okay now i'm going to take that same contour color and just do a little bit of contouring 
with a, let's use one of these big fluffy BK Beauty brushes. Looking for the biggest, fluffiest one, yeah. So get some of this in your, and just do your crease and come all up in here. Cause you're, it's like, kinda like you're contouring out that eyebrow bone. And all of ours are different. And it's gonna give you just that shadow without being like an eyeshadow look. And you can go underneath if you want. I usually do just because I, you know, have kind of a prominent under eye. My eyes are round. And there. And let's go ahead and do lips. I'm just going to put on basically that same lip combo. Maybe a different, a different lipstick. But I'm going to start off with this lip liner because it's so pretty. And I want you to see it, you know, from the, from the jump here. So I'm going to sharpen it up. It's the... Bobbi Brown Ballet Pink. There you go. And I feel like once you've done this, it's so natural. You can go in with just about anything. So let's use one of these crushed oil glosses here from Bobbi Brown. I think the New Romantic is the more, yeah, the pinker one. And then this is the more like, you know, peachy one. So let's use New Romantic. These have a lot more color than I thought they would. and they feel really good. So that looks really good with that lip liner. Let's go in with liner. What kind of liner do I want to do here? I think I'm gonna do my brown wing liner and then lashes, and we'll see if we need anything else in the crease, but I'm gonna to try to just leave it like that. Okay, so I'm gonna use this Sigma brush here. This is an E05. I'm gonna use the Low Lights Gel Liner from MAC, which is a dark, dark brown, but it's still not as harsh as black. Coat my brush, and I'm gonna do just a regular line across my lash line here. Like that. And then take a Q-tip and maybe smudge it out just a little bit. Make them even. I always end up putting more on that one. And you could stop here if you are not a wing liner person. But as you know, I am. So I'm not going to use this. I'm going to go in. I like to do the gel liner right there. And then I like to do my actual wing. Okay, my camera stopped. So I don't know how much of that you guys saw. But I'm going to do the other one. Then you can take this too and just make sure you get all of the liner like that. Of course, I always have one that's more swoopy and one that's more straight. So I'm gonna make that one a little more of a swoop. Okay, now I'm gonna use mascara. I think I'm gonna use the Mascara that is so good. It's that Honest Beauty Mascara. The first thing you do is the primer side. I've even used it without the primer and it's good. I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of the primer. Mascara is so good. Look how pretty that is. Of course, I hit my eye back there, but I may not use any lashes today, even though I think it would definitely kick it up a notch, but. 
this mascara just makes your lashes look so good and because I don't have on black liner sometimes you can get away with it a little bit easier I guess think so pretty okay I'm gonna let that dry for a minute and then I'm gonna put a little bit of this bourbon 24 7 in my waterline but I like to kind of rub it not really in the waterline but in these lights these lashes like that there we go a little bit of the mascara underneath just kind of at the base I think like that okay now go over this again right, that is some good mascara I don't know what they have done. I think it's because the wand is so good too. Really good, really good. Okay, let's evaluate the situation here. Take my hair down. And what do you guys think? I am not gonna put any lashes on. I think we are done. You could, if you wanted to, take like some Charlotte Tilbury. I thought I brought it out here, but Charlotte Tilbury powder if you wanted to powder anywhere, but I'm gonna leave it. I would rather it just stay glowy. I'll be right back with an outfit of the day. Okay, so today I just have on that dress that I got from Walmart, the slip dress. I just think it's so pretty. I put on one of my below the belt belts on, just belted it. I love this one with like the double buckles. And it still ends up being kind of long. I wish it was ended up being a little bit shorter. And then I may just throw this Zara jacket on with it. I think that looks good with it. Shoes, I'm wearing these shoots that I showed you the other day. These are so pretty. If you just get one pair of shoes that I show you this year, you've got to get one of these, either the uh, nude ones or the black ones. They're just so pretty. And they're even prettier when you put tanner on your feet and they're not so white. Okay, and for accessories, I don't have on any earrings yet. I don't know if I will because I wanted to kind of stack my necklaces up today. So I have on my name necklace and then I put on some of my Miranda Fry, the Courage Pendant, and the I have the Lightning Bolt with the J for John on there. And um, nail polish is still... Oh, that one charged up cherry and then I have on some of my Miranda Fry rings I wanted to kind of go for that vibe today with the slip dress and everything I kind of felt like that went with it I hope you guys enjoyed this I also got a good goody PR package from I've got one from Laura Mercier one from Wander Beauty and then I've got a good one from Rodial. So I might do some more looks this week and then kind of show you these new products and we'll just try them together. So I hope you enjoyed it and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like these videos. Give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.